hashtag red out for the first ride of the year a couple of days ago and while it ran absolutely perfect got a little issue with the brakes the front brakes got a pulsation that I don't like that we're gonna have to work on that it didn't have when I parked it last year when I first got the bike it had a bad pulsation in the brakes Here's the factory rotor. I hit it with a little sandpaper. Now you can see a bunch of hot spots on it, or high spots. And it had a really high frequency vibration. So when I got it, I took it apart, put a used eBay rotor on it, and it's worked fine ever since. Put new uh, AA TBC pads on it. Never had a problem until I rode it the other day. For some reason, and this one is a more of a uh, low frequency thump to it when you get on the brake. So I'd say it's just one spot on the rotor that's got a problem. I don't know if it's where the pad set, where it was in storage there for a couple of months or what. But we're going to pull it off, pull the tire, pull the rotor off. We're going to work it over with a uh, scotch brite wheel and uh, just give it a good visual inspection, make sure there's nothing on it that could be causing this. Because it is really annoying. Generally lift it with my engine hoist. My daughter's got it, so ceiling hoist is even better. You can probably sneak this out under the fender, but I just go ahead and pull it off there. Or I don't have to worry about it. Next, you got a couple of pinch bolts on this side. They're quarter inch. Hex wrench. Just loosen those up. Take out the two caliper bolts, 5 sixteenths. That should stay put. And you got the special little tool that you should have in the tool pack that fits in the axle over here. It is left-handed thread. So you break it loose. Unscrew the axle. Take it out. Come back over here. Slip the caliper out. Roll the tire out. I put one bolt back here so it's not hanging from the cable. Next is just removing the uh, six bolts that hold the rotor on. And there, it's a T40 uh, to take those out. Pull them out, and then there's some little spacers and springs underneath, so don't lose any of that. On these brakes, you have a little spring. Goes in the hole. You have... A spacer piece like this fits in the little slot that'll line up with the hole. And then you have another piece that fits in the rotor like that. And then, of course, the bolt goes in. And that lets the rotor float as it goes around. 
And when you got them all, see that little dot there? That needs to face outward. Make sure you get the rotor on the other right direction. I'm going to clean this up, rough it up, but I don't really see anything too bad with it. Throw all the little parts in the tumbler, clean them up, and reassemble it. I don't know. I'm wondering. There is a spot that the bearing kind of thumps as you roll it around. So I'm wondering if that's what I'm feeling is something with the bearing. When you slam on the brakes, you're really loading that bearing. So anything that's going on with it is going to be amplified. So I may uh, throw a new set of bearings in there too. I had forgotten how annoying it was to get the bearings out of these wheels the first time. Well, this is the first time I've changed the wheel bearings on this one. Because they're set up. The hub, or the sleeve inside won't slide far enough over to hit the inner lip of the bearing with a punch. So what they do in the service manuals, they've got a cullet style puller they put in there. I don't have one of them, so I... Went over to the workbench, broke out the lathe, just some scrap I had laying around, put together a little cullet deal. I'm going to put that in there, tighten it up, and then see if I can't drive the bearing out from the other side. If this works, then I'll show you how to fix the tube to where you won't have to have one of these in the future. Instead of hitting on the bolt head, I started hitting on the collet itself with the smaller punch. I drove it out of there. This normal punch. And the other one comes out no problem. What I was going to say. It's in the future. You take the tube and you make some little notches right on the edge. Just a little. Here, I'll, I'll mark it. Just take your Dremel or your die grinder or whatever. Make a little notch like that. One there, 180 degrees out. And then. You can take a skinny punch. This one I've actually put a little bend in it to help it and you can get that, drop the end of that in where that notch is and get a hold of that inner race. And you can just knock these bearings out, no problem at all. It's a lot easier than trying to pull them with the factory stuff and it doesn't hurt anything to make a notch in that little tube. So that's what I've done on the other and it's been that way for years, so. I like it. Well, I'll get back to working on the rotor. Gave it a light polish with the, with the scotch Brite pad for brakes. Hopefully, if there was something on it, that should have cleaned it off. Well, I didn't see much. There was a couple spots that looked like it. Well, it looked different. So, we'll put it on there and see. If this doesn't work... I just picked up an EBC, a brand new rotor off eBay for like 125 shipped to the door. So, figure since I got two mules, wouldn't hurt to have a spare. And well, I'm getting ready to put it back together. I went ahead and made the notch, the end of the tube, 
that gives you just enough space to get a punch in there and catch the edge of the bearing and knock it out. So I'll need to do it to one side because you get one bearing out and then you can drive the other side out no problem.